The late singer-songwriter John Denver used to sing about sunshine on his shoulders making him happy. Well, sunshine on your rooftop could make you ecstatic, especially once you open your utility bill. I am definitely an advocate. I think everybody should have solar panels. Ray Wilson's a bit more than an advocate. He's more like a solar energy fanatic. They're just wonderful. They just sit up there and make electricity. Uh, they, don't, they don't take any maintenance. They um, don't make any noise. I'm an agricultural engineer, and for many, many years ago, I actually helped design some solar systems for farm buildings. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I thought, I really want to have solar panels on my house roof someday. And so in 1981, we actually uh, took the roof off of this house and put the second story on, and we sloped the roof so that it would be approximately right for solar panels. And a year ago, I said, you know, if I'm ever going to do this, I better get doing it. My wife said, Ray, it's your money. He gets to go do it. So that's what we did. His only regrets are waiting so long and a little bit of Mother Nature. Unfortunately, uh, in the meantime, this tree that was planted in front of the house grew really big, and we really like it. And so we decided uh, we we're going to just stick panels on this end of the roof as opposed to the whole roof. But it's been enough to make a whole lot of difference on his electric bill. Sometimes we, our bills are $7.17, okay. which means we didn't buy any. That's just the connection fee. And then sometimes it's even as low as $2.17 because we allow the power company to turn off our air conditioner for 15 minutes if there happens to be a peak load. So we would be pretty much even. Because if we generate more electricity than we use, we send it back to the power company and they don't pay me for it. Okay. But when we do in the summertime generate more electricity than we need, we send it out to the grid and our neighbors use it and we get a credit. And it was credits that helped make buying the system affordable. We paid about $19,000 for this system. That's about $3.85 a watt. Then our power company gave me a check for $4,000. They had an incentive at the time. So now I'm down to 15,000. And then I was able to deduct $5,000 for my income tax. Right. So now I have about $10,000 in there for, for this system. I think we'll be paying for this in 10 to 12 years. 10 to 12 years. Yeah. And then from then on, they're warranted for 80% production and 25 years from now, it's just going to be gravy money in your pocket. Jeff Cole of Johnson Mellow Solutions, who installed Ray's system, says you don't have to have a perfectly pitched roof like Ray's to reap the benefits. We can do ground mount systems. Um, there's several different types of ground mount systems. We can do dual tracker uh, access or access trackers that will um, follow the sun throughout the day. It's the cells on the panels that collect the energy, but there's a lot going on behind these panels too. Jeff brought one like those on Ray's roof, so we didn't have to get on the roof. So on the back side, all that energy comes into the junction box, which acts as a circuit protector uh, for reverse current flow. Uh, then from there, it goes into the microinverter system, uh, converts the DC power produced from the panel, uh, inverts that into AC power to match with your grid. And it's important a system matches the needs of its users. With Ray's system, because of the tree shading, um, we went with the microinverter system. That way, every single panel produces its own set amount of energy. Then that's pushed back, so you don't have the shading effect. With the affordability, the adaptability, and the efficiency of solar energy as an alternative energy source, basically, the future for it's very bright.